did you want to kill yourself? No, don't answer the question, Frank. Richard. Don't answer it. Richard. He's not going to answer the question, Frank. I wanted Richard. to kill myself don't listen to him. because I was He's very He's unhappy. He's a sick man. He's a sick in his head man. Richard. But I'm sorry. I don't think it's an appropriate conversation for a seven-year-old. Well, she's going to find out anyway. Oh, okay. Go on, Frank. Why were you unhappy? Uh, well, there are a lot of reasons. Um, mainly, though, I fell in love with someone who didn't love me back. No. One of my grad students. I was very much in love with him. Him? It was a boy? And you fell in love with the boy? Yes, I did. Very much so. That's silly. You're right. It was silly. It was very, very silly. There's another word for it. Yeah. So, that's when you tried to kill yourself? Well, no. The boy that I was in love with fell in love with another man, Larry Sugarman. Who's Larry Sugarman? Larry Sugarman is perhaps the second most highly regarded Proust scholar in the U.S. Who's number one? That would be me, Rich. Wow. Mm. So, that's one. No. Uh, what happened was I was a bit upset. So I said some things that I shouldn't have said, and I did some things that I shouldn't have done, and subsequently I was fired from my job and forced to move out of my apartment and move into a motel. <laughs> and... That's when you tried to... Well, no. Actually, all of that was okay. What happened was, two days ago, the MacArthur Foundation, in its infinite wisdom, awarded a genius grant to Larry Sugarman. And that's when... I... S decided to check out early. Yes. Yes. And I failed at that as well. Olive, the important thing to understand here is that Uncle Frank gave up on himself. He made a series of foolish choices. I'm sorry, and he gave up on himself, which is something that winners never do.